Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. We are adding content to CheapControls.com so you can download some extra documents used in this video. Consider joining the new Cheap Controls group on Facebook so you can stay in better contact with us. This is going to be my third video on changing the page on the Nexion display using the Arduino. In this one I'm going to use variables. We're going to use the exact same setup as we did before. In the last video we used an interrupt. We set it up here and then we referenced these two functions down here. In this video we won't be using this at all so I'm going to go ahead and delete this line. I'm going to save these because I'm going to cut and paste them. We're going to add a new variable here. We're going to call it current page to show where we currently are. I'm going to set it to zero even though it may, the switch may be on one, not 100% sure, but it really shouldn't matter. In the last one we had an interrupt here, but we have to go back to our pin mode and set it to an input. Now on this one we're just going to read the current setting, the current switch setting, and see if it's equal to where we think the current page is. If you remember right, we set the pin equal to 3, so we can just refer to it as pin. We're going to check, and if it's not equal to the current page, then we're going to change the page. The first thing we're going to do now that we're in this loop is we're going to set the variable current page equal to what equal to what the switch is set at. And then we have two cases whether the current page is equal to 1 or the current page is equal to 0. Now sometimes I refer to it as 5 volts or 3.3 .3 volts and 0 volts. Um, the editor asked me to go through, he didn't think I was clear enough to say that 5 volts is equal to a logical level of 1, and for our purposes 3.3 .3 volts on the UNO board is also equal to a logical 1, where 0 volts is equal to a logical 0. I also want to point out that the editor needed training wheels on his bicycle until he was in junior high school. And here we're going to go if the current page is equal to 0. You actually want two equal signs here instead of one or it will set it to zero. So if we've switched it to zero, then we want it to do this code down here. And we don't need to do anything with the interrupts because we're not using interrupts. So now I can delete this portion. And now here's where I could put in else if the current page is equal equal to 1 and test for that comparison or I can just put else because in any other case we want to go ahead and change it to page 1. And now we can delete this. I'm going to go ahead and upload it and see if it works. and you can see that it works. I'm going to stick just a short delay in here of one second. Since I had old code in here that worked before, what if my upload process isn't working for some reason? I'm going to go ahead and send this to it and see if the one second delay, just to confirm that this does have the new code. And you can see that I can flip it and it does take a second for it to switch. This is a pretty simple set of code for this. In my next one I'm going to tie it all together. We're going to use an interrupt and some variables and we're going to pull a variable from the Nexion display itself. The video might go a little over 10 minutes, but it'll tie everything together. Well that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up. 
and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.